Today we're gonna to be making tortillas using masa harina. All we need is some fresh masa harina, a little bit of water, a tortilla press, and a comal, and we're set. I have two cups measured out here. It should yield about 20 tortillas, which is about enough for me. Um, I'm gonna pour that in here. So for every two cups, I'm gonna do two cups of water, kind of more or less. I'll slowly add this until I get to the right point of consistency. The masa should feel wet, workable, but not sticky. And there's no worry, like if you do end up putting a little bit too much water in there, you can always add a little bit more masa harina to it so that it kind of balances it out again. So I've mixed up the masa. It's taken me, I don't know, three to five minutes. There are no more dry bits. It's sort of wet, it's leaving a little bit of stickiness, but it's gonna be a couple more minutes before I actually handle this in the tortilla press. So I know it's gonna dry out a little bit more. Key to making a tortilla puff uh, is a lot of moisture. So a puff is really when you see a tortilla souffle or kind of like balloon off of the comal. Um, it's an indication that there is sufficient moisture locked in the center that once heat hits that moisture, it expands in the form of steam and outward and create sort of a ballooning effect. It's not mission critical, it's just a nice thing to have and we're gonna to try to go for a puff today uh, if the tortilla cooperates. To get a tortilla started, I'm gonna break off a golf ball size portion of masa. Really doesn't matter how big it is, it's just kind of how big you like your tortillas. So I've got a golf ball size ball here. I'm gonna smush it between one piece of plastic. I kind of repurpose this from a produce bag from a grocery store. Those are, tend to be really good. They're lightweight and they really help you peel the masa off easily without having it break in your hands. Give it a nice another sort of press um, before I actually press the tortilla plates down against one another. And I'm gonna give it kind of a moderate amount of pressure. I don't wanna to go too, too thin of a tortilla. It's totally up to you. I like to kind of have like a tortilla that's about an eighth of an inch, maybe a little thinner than that. I peeled off the top layer and the easiest thing to do is sort of to flip this tortilla on your hand and gently peel off the, the plastic sheet. And I'm gonna do a nice sweeping backhanded motion to get it to land on the comal. So key to getting a puff is searing both sides of the tortilla. I usually take about 15 to 20 seconds depending on how hot the comal is for each side. So after each sides have seared, you put it back to the original side, hopefully at that point, there's still sufficient moisture locked in the center that it'll puff. So that's my first flip. I'm now searing the second side of the tortilla. After about 15 to 20 seconds searing this side, both sides will be seared. I'll throw it back on the original side and hopefully we should have some motion there. And we should be good. I'm gonna flip it back here. Sometimes what happens is that the, the tortilla is not like perfectly compressed, depending on if you put a little bit more weight on one side of the tortilla press than the other. So I'm kind of just giving a little bit of compression on the sort of total surface of the tortilla to, to kind of make it even and hopefully create kind of like a balloon effect. As you can see, one side of this tortilla is already starting to puff up a little bit. I'm not, I'm not displeased with this. This is a pretty nice looking tortilla, especially when I turn it over. I love seeing some char marks on there. To me, it sort of builds on that flavor a little bit. And then the trick is to put it in a tortilla warmer once you're done, where it's gonna to continue to steam that steam is gonna kind of create some elasticity to it and kind of cut through what feels like a harder crust right now. It's actually gonna kind of like soften it and make it a little bit more workable. Okay, great. One thing that you can always do to kind of tell if your tortilla has enough moisture in it when it's done is called the crumple test. So a crumple test is basically you get a tortilla, you kind of crumple it up in your hands and when you release it, it shouldn't have cracks. It should have like a lot of elasticity and sort of workability to it. This has been steaming now for about five minutes. If I do that, boom. You see that? Crumple, unfurl, no cracking. Beautiful, it's got a nice kind of elasticity to it. If I do a little pull on it. Still very good with like even a mild puff. Um, that is making a tortilla with masarina and thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe, thank you. <laughs>